welcome back to Y254 TV. Just in case you're getting to join us, this is Y in the Morning, hashtag WCW and Strength of a Woman. And this week's Strength of a Woman, we get to highlight Mev Muturi, who is Miss Universe Kenya. And a um, screenwriter and a humanitarian, she is wearing a whole lot of hat. But you know, the good thing is that she is in studio to tell us all about it. Karibu sana. <laughs> Thank you very much. So please, um, I have just probably said briefly who you are. You can introduce yourself. How you prefer to. All right. Um, my name is Maeve Boturi, uh, Mrs. Universe Kenya 2023. And... Uh, a screenwriter, as she has said, a humanitarian, and above all things, a peace ambassador. We were very active during the 2023, uh, I mean 2022 elections that just passed here. Yeah? And I like to insist that I'm also a mom. It's a very important part of uh, my initials and my tour and my, yeah, my I name, yeah. I think I'll, I'll ask you a question that was asked by my producer off air. All right. Uh, what is the difference between Miss, <laughs> yeah, M I S S, na M S Miss? Okay. Um, when pa pageantry started, they used to have contestants who are between, mostly between eighteen and young young ladies to say, uh, to say the least. Uh, these young ladies were unmarried; they didn't have kids, and they were just young ladies, M I W -S, S. That is the Miss now, and then it revolved and uh, evolved, and uh, over time we have come to have different um, competitions where they feature every woman. It's inclusive of every other woman, uh, lady to say. Uh, to say, so M I W -S, S is for the young lady, the young woman. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then there's MS. MS now is inclusive of every woman. You could be unmarried, you could be however old you are, you could have kids but not married. I mean, you could be married, you could be whatever age, you could have kids and unmarried, and you could still be young and unmarried. Yeah, so that is the difference between the titles. So um, the, the benefits, the accolades, everything is the same, regardless? Uh, I'll say so. The benefits highly depends on the pageant itself. Different pageants give uh, different benefits on different angles. Yeah. Okay. So, how did you land at Miss Universe? Let's just begin that there before we <laughs> talk about every other thing. Okay. Um, it's a competition, yeah? Mm -hmm. uh, first, before this title, I was Mrs. Universe. Nairobi County. Miss is for MRS mm -hmm. because I'm a mom so I'm inclusive there. They mm -hmm. say I'm married because you have a kid, yes. And then um, after my reign ended, I was Mrs. Universe Nairobi County 2021-2022. Then after my reign ended, I felt the need of, uh, together with my colleague Shiro who's a bit late, we felt the need to have our own where we have this lady who doesn't have a kid or this lady who is married and doesn't want no divorced to say uh, or separated from the spouse so we felt the need to be pioneers of this title so i'm like the pioneer the first one to be called miss universe kenya and then now over time we will now start um, having the competition where now we crown others and yeah oh interesting yes so how long um how long do you intend to uh, reign as miss universe now that you are the pioneer just this year towards the end we have we have plans uh, of holding hours either towards the end of the year or beginning of the year depending with uh, some a lot of things here so um the title is just, uh, sorry, forgive me for asking layman, it's okay. layman, <laughs> layman, <laughs> layman questions. Yeah. But the title, uh, Miss Universe, um, is it viable like, let's say, Miss Tourism, Miss Kenya, uh, are the are the, are the integrities the same, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's very much viable because it's uh, the competition goes up to international levels. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's very much viable. And like I said, uh, it depends with the pageant itself, how the directors um, run it because all pageants are run differently. So depending with the directors and how they want to run it and how they have agreed with the international uh, body, yeah. So the benefits may be the same more or less because it's a title and a crown, but now the nitty gritties as you call them may be different. So who, who funds the pageantry? Uh, people look for sponsors. Okay. <laughs> yeah, sponsors and uh, now, yeah, it's sponsors to say the least. It's sponsors because you can't fund it from your own. You can, but it's quite expensive mm -hmm. to fund it from your own pocket and you really have to have that money in your pocket to fund it. So you look for sponsors to partner with. Yeah. So um, you are a humanitarian. Mm -hmm. uh, does it have something to do with your title as the, or your career in pageantry? Or where did the interest in doing humanitarian work come from? I'll say the interest has always been there. Mm -hmm. But now, uh, sometimes when you have the interest, how to pursue it might be a challenge. So my going into pageantry was uh, just to have a stepping stone or rather um, an advantage of when I'm pursuing these humanitarian opportunities or when I'm going out there to do my humanitarian work, I can have that upper hand to have people uh, draw interest and really want to know what is going on with this person, or why is she here, yeah. You are a humanitarian, and then I didn't even ask you to help us understand what humanitarians do. You know, maybe there's someone who's there and they're like, okay, uh, what's a humanitarian again? So please, uh, do you mind uh, taking us through what do humanitarians do? Okay. Um, myself as a humanitarian, okay, humanitarians, uh, they try and I won't say solver, but stand in, um, what, um, sorry. <laughs> so I won't say, I don't want to say solver. I'm looking for the right word for this uh, explanation. They basically are there to help people who are having maybe a difficulty in a certain uh, phase in their life or a certain, um, yeah, some difficulty. So humanitarians come in to help you or work with you rather through that phase. You, I, I don't know if I've explained it well, eh? mm -hmm. but that is how I, I understand it when I'm doing my work. And which my work is, um, together with Shiro, like I had mentioned, uh, we started this together. So what we do is um, she provides education for girls and me, I provide, um, I, I normally work with boys. I like working with boys because uh, so like mentorship to the boys and uh, providing them, giving them the voice, encouraging them through. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Nice. Um, as a person now, this mm -hmm. is me, mm -hmm. as a person, mm -hmm. I appreciate, given that this is also strength of a woman, I appreciate hearing stories of uh, people. If mm -hmm. you can probably briefly tell us, how did you end up at everything you're doing before we talk about uh, screen, your screenwriting? My screenwriting. Mm. Okay. Um, everyone... Who, who uh, your experiences growing up and uh, all through mm -hmm. shape you as the mm -hmm. person that you mm -hmm. are eventually. So I'm not different. Mm -hmm. My experiences growing up pushed me into that side of work that I'm trying to do. And when I say my experiences, you know, when we were growing up, we had strict parents. 
and we didn't understand why they were strict. We had challenges that we didn't understand how to go about them because there was no one to guide us through. And like today that you, will, you can sit with your parents and they can guide you through things. This year, our, me as a parent now, the young parents, I can sit with my child and guide him. But when we were growing up, that wasn't, uh, there's no way you could have sat with your mom mm. or dad and they would explain to you this and this and this. So those experiences, however, t the toughness that I experienced growing up really made me want to stand in for that person who is experiencing the same and they don't have somewhere to, someone to go back to, to guide them or to lean on, you know. Yeah, so like I said, growing up we had luck, we lacked a lot of things and somehow we lacked a lot of things and somehow it got into us and messed our mental state and mental health and I think those are the, some, uh, that, that is the most major reason why I chose to do what I do and why I became the person I became because I, I, I tend to be very soft on anyone who's going through <laughs> <laughs> a difficult time. I, I just want you to hold that thought. Keep, don't go too right. We take a very short break and then we'll be back. Okay. Don't touch that dial. We're coming back with me. Why two five four?